It's happened, folks. The Nintendo Direct tomorrow is going to be a banger. 40 minutes of goodness. And, oh boy, um, maybe it's leaked. Although, it probably hasn't leaked. But we do have a couple um, potential leaks we're going to look at as we just sort of speculate and hype our way into the Direct tomorrow. Uh, I wouldn't put a ton of stock in this, although obviously I'll warn Hey, look, if this stuff is right, you're kind of spoiling the direct for yourself. Um, also, no, there's some really cool uh, applications out there we're going to mess with, actually, uh, right before the direct tomorrow. But that being said, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. We are giving away a Nintendo Switch OLED, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X to one lucky winner this month. Head to that Gleam.io link down in the description. And even if you've already entered, you're going to want to go back and enter again. Why? because we have added new ways to enter and I wanna make sure that everyone gets a chance to maximize uh, their entries. That being said, let's get into some of these uh, leaks and you know what folks, I gotta show you something. Yeah, I uh, sorry, <laughs> all right. I, I, I don't even know what to tell you. So let's just get into these leaks. They do come from 4chan and I'll explain why each one of these is being covered. Essentially, these two different uh, 4chan leaks are being covered because they correctly predicted the date and or time of the announcement of the direct uh, ahead of time. So because of that, it's like one of those, hey, they predicted this, let's let's go from there like this one here uh actually predicted the exact time the tweet was going to go out uh this is probably the one i put the least amount of stock in because we already know based on history the general times that nintendo will put out tweets it's one of three hours so you basically have a 33 percent chance to guess correctly but whatever 4chan's completely anonymous this could be nothing and there's not a whole lot in this one and it's very safe um it essentially says this they're going to focus on Splatoon 3, and the main first-party announcements will be a new Fire Emblem, not a remake, and Xenoblade Chronicles 3. These are all extremely safe bets, although, again, there's no guarantee any of these three games are actually in the Direct. So that's not that exciting, but it's at least something, uh, and, you know, I, again... This looks like a billion things I've read today on the internet. You know what's interesting too? There's some weird things trending on Twitter because of this direct announcement. Maybe we'll talk about that here as well. The next uh, leak, this one's a bit more juicy. Uh, this one was actually posted back on February 2nd. And what's interesting about this one is it projected, the reason we listed it is it said the director was gonna happen on February 9th with an announcement on February 8th. They were off by one hour on when the director would happen. They said that it would happen um, at 3 p.m. Pacific time, 5, uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time. That's one hour off. So you can say that's a red flag. That was also back on February uh, 2nd. It's obviously been like a week, so you know, take that for what it is. Let's go into uh, this because there's a lot more listed here. This one seems more like the full direct potentially being leaked here. Uh, and again, I don't put a lot of stock in this stuff. It's 4chan, but every now and then we do get entire directs leaked ahead of time on 4chan. So let's just check this out. It says Pokemon Legends Arceus DLC tease. Uh, Pokemon Presents uh, being teased for 224. Uh, 22 announcements. So essentially, they're going to tease the, the DLC and then say, hey, you want more Pokemon information? Check out the uh, Pokemon Presents coming up. Uh, Advance Wars Reboot Camp Story Trailer. I think that's a pretty safe bet. Plus, I assume a release date in that trailer. Kirby and the Forgotten Land Trailer. Again, I think a safe bet. Kirby's 30th Anniversary Mention slash Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards coming to Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass, which I would assume would happen next month because we already got Majora's Mask this month. So yeah, again, very safe on that part. Uh, Nintendo did mention they had more planned for Kirby, so that could very well fit in the cards. Tetris 99, Kirby and the Forgotten Land announcement. Uh, nothing that's too shocking there. They, Tetris 99 has done multiple of these themed events, so that could make sense. Hollow Knight Silk Song, that's one that's going to make people maybe raise, raise their eyebrows a little. Wait a second, Hollow Knight? Yes, I, I would love to see that. Star Wars Hunters announcement. Again, a solid announcement. Fire Emblem Echoes, the Flames of... Elib, Elib, I don't know how you pronounce it, but uh, yeah, that's obviously just playing on the whole Fire Emblem Echoes rumors that have existed for a long time. Uh, Two Point Campus, that's very specific there, along with Code Shark. Again, 
Um, those are some games that maybe you didn't expect to hear listed here. Uh, Mario plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. Uh, so that, I find that to be a fun one. Uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Amiibo Wave t uh, 20, which is releasing March 2022. Again, we still have Amiibo Waves coming for Smash, so it would make sense if they talked about it here. A third party and indie uh, sizzle reel, which again, they do like those sizzle reels and directs. And then Splatoon 3 research footage, uh, followed lastly by the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, which I assume if they're dropping that trailer, it will have a title or a release timing or date or something. You're not just gonna here's more of the game but then not give us any actual concrete uh release or at least title information uh now to further be honest, there's been some interesting things trending today uh with the nintendo direct obviously nintendo direct has been trending all day on twitter but of course every time a major nintendo announcement event's happening what trends the nintendo switch 2 uh breath of the wild the sequel's trending because a lot of people want to see that uh so yeah it, this is really interesting just to see those trending it doesn't really mean anything it's just a bunch of people on twitter speculating hoping for switch hardware announcements or breath of the wild 2 stuff so it doesn't mean anything but it's still really really fun trust me i've been i've been listening to chatter on the rumor mill a lot of the actual uh insiders out there be it emily rogers or nate the hate or uh samus hunter and all the rest uh they have gone pretty silent today a, a few have put a, a few predictions out there but predictions i don't mean a whole lot we want to know what do you actually know? And it seems like they might not know a ton for this Direct. Uh, maybe that casual one uh, to Switch sequel or whatever that's been teased out there. Uh, maybe that is something we can expect. But, you know, I've gone over my predictions already in the video talking about and announcing the Nintendo Direct today. So I don't want to go back over those. And I've also been asking people all day uh, what some of your crazy out there predictions will be. On YouTube specifically, I ask people to give me your dream wish list. Um, you know, totally out their item uh you know I, I literally i literally said what's your most unrealistic wishlist item and oh boy there have been a lot of responses uh so i just want to go over a few of them um you know give you guys a little attention here we got uh mima uh Mimon, uh said oracle of agent eight seasons plus ages hd remake with a feature that blends the two games together called the realm gate link can use the realm gate to travel between holodrum and labrina seamlessly this replaces the password system and allows the team to create new dungeons and overworld secrets to further emphasize Ganon as the true final boss after Twin Roba. That's a really interesting take. Also, there originally was supposed to be a third game in this series that was really going to encapsulate it all. It would be cool if they kind of just did that here. Um, Dark Shadow 25 says, Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon for the Switch. That game was my first Pokemon Dungeon game, and I personally think it had the best story and plot twist the way Pokemon uh, and I choose the game reactions to things that occur in the games. Story is literally in sync to how I felt in certain parts of the game, and I loved that. Um, Taker uh, 610, one of our members, went out there to send an all-new 2D Zelda game with a brand new story. Uh, I, I think that would be really nice. Uh, Mr. Combustible Lemon Chimes in a Chrono Trigger remake that won't be ruined by the problems plaguing the modern gaming industry or Super Mario RPG. Very specific there. Um, Cedric Perez chimes in with Smash 64 with matchmaking, lobbies, and rollback netcode. Never going to happen, but I'd pay $200 just for that. That would probably be in addition to Nintendo Switch Online. But I agree, they probably aren't going to do that. Um, Bullfrog J with an interesting one saying, uh, Breath of Fire compilation 1 through 4 and an Onimusha remake. So that's that's I think that's a really... Cool. And Michael Webb, by the way, is just ending with, what I think, what I hope for as well. Any Zelda, damn it. Give us actual remasters of Ocarina of Time and George Master Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. Please, for the love of God, Nintendo, do it. Which, I, you know, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD maybe has a chance. Uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, you know, whatever. And now the Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD aren't actually, like, remasters. Well, I mean, they are remasters. I guess they do fit the remaster mold. I think what he probably really wants are remakes from the ground up. Um, at least that's what I would like to see for Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask specifically. So we'll have to wait and see, guys. We don't have to wait long. In fact, after this video goes out, I'm going to be busy setting up our Nintendo Direct live stream tomorrow. Yes, we will be live reacting to the Direct. Unfortunately, I won't be going like live super early like you guys are used to. You guys are used to me popping off at, you know, you know, an hour before a Direct or something like that. It won't be happening this time due to the timing of the Direct. It's a very strange timing for me. I'll, whenever there's Directs, I always hope they're at like 2 o'clock in the afternoon 
or like early in the morning at eight or nine. This one's happening at four o'clock. My kids get home at three. My uh, middle child, you know, has to be picked up at 3.30. It's a very weird time. Uh, so we're actually going to be going at 3.45, only 15 minutes early. Uh, but in that 15 minute little pre-show, I'm going to show you guys something that's a lot of fun that I'm not sure all of you guys are aware of. This little neat thing uh, you could do for fun uh, in the future uh, if you just want to... Uh, have a little fun uh, speculating on what's going to be coming to direct. So it, it's a cool little, neat little tool uh, that I discovered today that we're, we're just going to have some fun with it before the direct tomorrow. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jets from Nintendo Prime. And let me know how hyped are you down below. And also, do you actually think any of this 4chan crap is real? I don't, but any excuse to speculate more and more and more on a known direct is welcome to me. Thank you guys so much and I'll catch you in the next video.